Nitasoma kwa lugha ya dhuluo na wewe utafuatilia kwa tafsiri lako. Ubiro somo ge dok mo wa chone kasto yi to lwe ya loa ge dok loko ma ingurena. Uwa choka ma to lwe musa ne peg. Mine gi kao kidi ne gi kete e boe mo bedoe. Kedo harun ko de hur no si ro lwe tene ngato. Ngato machielo koni, kino ngato machielo ko machielo. Kino luwete ne ubedo giteko nyaka podo chie. Nyasacho wa mundu kwenzomo niye nyingroti yesu. Amen. Wabiro diyo nyime gilamo jawa nyasacho wa giweri namba meariyo gipra uchi ya gariku. We will worship God through music, song number 263, Luo Hymnal, and Church Hymnal is 430. Church Himal 430 Tafadhali waimishaji Tusimame wote Tukiongoza unaimishaji hapa mbele Jomani Kod program Eni Tuk program Kanya Kiwanda Ratiba hii Ipe nakiliwa kule nyuma Maikichipa Kwa 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 kwa
Mondoka mkuu kaje hapo kwa kwale no yudu yueyo kiche wache nikawa ka kindo de tour ki weche mapekt wa kile mbele ni tuona yudu yueyo you you present your the ideas before you made coin me wangiji ni sae mani kituwe che mupo grupo we moku lu tuolo moku bire kanisa ka wa kwali e parge e mi genge ba makare ne o sitende ne jende jogo mani ki wot matek u dichi maka wono mani ke chitna de ka chuma da ne ke chandu wa kuma gen go yoba ine mi golo chandu ko mji wa kitu ge bluti wangi yo ke do ka pastors ni tie ka Pasa kena dia musi bidi kido ka gi family ne ku wuto ko ri kon ke do ko wacho wachi ni. Ange ni ye chien mon ko ne ni ke si chi duto ngo mo wachi ma di si re di wode ke di beli ko ne si chi duto. Ye chi chi bo biro ka ne sai mono la do wachi ni ma di mi e che ko ma di mu do ke di mu lo do nye re ma ya mono gi go mo wachi ne sai o lok wok ne wa an ne chu jo an ke do mer bele o di bele ko ti oni. Wan gi jotelo mag pey e kido ka to gi ne mi yero gi ma de mi gi teko ti mi gi eri e ko nya sae ma gi nya lo telo no ago mondo wa kwan ko lu mun ya telo ma ngane ri ya telo ma bae wa kitu gi ri weti wan gi jotelo ma ka dis ni bene ri ka yo kwe de gi pasta stegi jotelo ya sae wa kitu gi ri weti i se ta yo gi gi kido ago ma de me si do gi ngato ka ngato ka mo kire ti mo Bu Mario bil koro ku bu winyo wa tinya ka wa chope mi diambo ni kech mane sa yo na nyinge so maja wa na karibisha watoto wa mahubiri ya watoto Asante sana uh, dada huyu uh, wakati huu naalika waimbaji kutoka kanisa la Kiadventista Rongo West Spring Church Choir waje wamtukuze bwana kwa wimbo Rongo West Spring Church Choir ni urumundo pa
Allow me appreciate uh, the wrong West Spring Church members for a well done job. I remember the other time uh, I visited here. We had a small altar around somewhere. somewhere and people were seated the other side. But I'm surprised. So, a bit of a walk. Uh, seeing a real cathedral within the town. 
this is wonderful marvelous and I want to appreciate the leadership of this church and God, your team God bless you for the good work uh, the development committee your, your development uh, God bless you so much uh, let me tell you one thing we are used to watch more after you are done with this project who sent you a project name uh, today is the 12th October 2024. Uh, this should go in records. Once you are done with this cathedral, I tell you each and every image of you uh, will have a home within Rongo. Because God has promised so. He said after you are done with my sanctuary Then the blessings will follow you from my sanctuary To your various places Amen. So it's my prayer that God help each and every one of you To own a home within Rome uh, So having done with the roofing I'm seeing uh, you are only left with few areas to go. Now the major project is here. The floor. Uh, that is my prayer. That is why I've come. Uh, sent by our president, Pastor Charles Nyakure. He was the one to do that. But he conferred powers to me. So that I do it on his behalf. To pray with the leadership of this church. And also with the development team. Uh, so that God give you strength. Uh, to finish this next time we come here I think that is your prayer too uh, we find you are done with the flow hallelujah Amen. in Rongo town this is the church that can accommodate more than 5,000 people I'm telling you in the Rongo you go to Rongo Central, it cannot accommodate more than 2,000 people or 3,000. You visit Ogengo, it cannot accommodate more than 1,500 people. You know churches around and within Rongo. But this is our cathedral and we are proud of you. So the, the development chair, where are you? The development, in the development chair, are you around the oh, committee members? Uh, committee members for development. Uh, who? Okay. Uh, good. The chair is standing there on behalf of committee members. Uh, Delta is there representing the whole church. Uh, so we want to dedicate this team to the hands of God. And we also want to pray that God give you strength to finish this project. But thereafter, blessings of God are sure. Uh, shall we believe and pray? You also need to pray for this church. Father, gracious, almighty God who lives above in heaven. We thank you so much, our King and our Creator, for your goodness, your mercies, your love, and your grace, which is sufficient to all of us. We also praise you and thank you for the lives of Rome West Spring Church members, for the good job that they've done, and Lord, we commit uh, the remaining uh, steps into the able hands. We pray, Father, that you give them strength, ability to continue doing this good job that they started in your name. We pray for the leadership of this church. I end here on behalf of the whole church. And the development chair is standing on behalf of the development committee members. We pray, Lord, that you lead their thoughts in doing good things. And all this shall have been done and finished, Lord, we pray that your blessings may follow them from church to their various places. Remain our God, and as we worship you today, Father, come down and help us do so in spirit and in truth. 
I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. We pray that next year we see a different church. Uh, today as appreciation Sabbath. Not only here in Rongo district, but it is a global uh, program that is taking place in all churches within the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And thank you so much for organizing such a program here. I want to appreciate uh, the associate pastor uh, for organizing this wonderful event. I know some other districts are doing the same. Uh, but I want to thank you for having it in plan. And today we'll count it done. Our key text that we're going to consider for now is the book of Exodus. Uh, chapter number 17 uh, verses 12 through 14 if you have the program in your hands it is there you can as well follow in your various versions the book Exodus uh, chapter 17 verse 12 through 14 I'll read it uh, uh, from NLT that is New Living Translation and I'll pick few things on it few things because I know today we are not here for baptism but we've come together to celebrate our pastor and have an offer service to us throughout the year and we've come to appreciate him by saying a word of thank you to the pastor. You know it is in order. Very much in order. And I know some of our members are against the program. And that is to me very normal. But I want to tell you appreciating your pastor is like you are doing so to your God. Because pastors represent God here on earth. They do everything on behalf of God. You might see them as human beings. A fellow human beings and But I tell you in the eyes of God. They speak on his behalf. Hallelujah. So you are here not to appreciate Pastor Ken. But not come to appreciate God through him. God has enabled him to give his services uh, throughout the year. And you do that text. Uh, you find few things. Number one, the theme as it is written in the program holding up the prophet's arms then the theme song is song number 263 go number 413 SDA church hymnals uh, then the key text Moses' arm soon became so tired. He could no longer hold them up. So Aaron and Hur found a stone for him to sit on. Then they stood on each side of Moses, holding up his hands. So his hands held steady until sunset. As a result, as a result of what? As a result of them holding Moses' hands up, Joshua overwhelmed the army of Amalek. Joshua in battle. After the victory, the Lord instructed Moses, write this down on a scroll as a permanent reminder and read it aloud to Joshua. I will raise 
the memory of Amalek. Amalek from under heaven. Thus says the Lord. I want us to understand this text. That God is instructing Moses. After Aaron and Ur and supported him and Joshua and his team are in the battlefield of fighting. Then Moses, after he had won the battle, God instructed him, Moses, my servant, even though Joshua and his team had won this battle, but make sure you jot this down with terrible exactness that no generation can erase it, put it down in black and white that the Amalites will cease to exist. Because I, the Lord Almighty, have spoken and am God of his words. As so people of God, I look into this text in three areas. Number one, uh, the historical context of the text. Uh, uh, story, man. Wait, man. Uh, that is number one, and I'll do so in passing. Uh, so that we don't consume much time on it. The number two, the theological insights that we find within the text. And finally, I will do the application of the text to the contemporary believers, that is you and me. The wilderness journey. We know this story very well. Israelites had been in captive for more than 430 years. And they've been wondering when will this promise of the promised land come through? So that was the song. You know, people had sung it. Prophets had sung it. Moses and his team. They had sung this song. People were born. Some died in the process of this song. So their main worry was when will this come true? The Israelites had been led by Moses. They were in the wilderness uh, following Exodus from slavery to the promised land. And this took place around 13 uh, CD. Uh, this period was marked by significant challenges. Challenge number one that they were facing was hunger. There was hunger. Famine. You remember when they cried Moses when they about to die of hunger and Moses also cried to God and God provided manna for them and so hunger was there. That was one experience. The wilderness journey was a journey full of hunger. Number two was thirst. Rio. You remember when they cried for Moses of water. And that has reminded me to take my water too. They cried for Moses. We are dying of thirst. Then Moses had to go to God and requested for water. But God instructed Moses. Go struck it off. Once. Then you will get water. And inform them to enjoy. In remembrance of my name. As God who delivered you in the hands of Pharaoh. But instead of Moses eating it once. The Bible records. That he ate it too. Because of anger, at times we offend our spiritual leaders. We give them hard work, not only to our pastors, but at times 
to our elders and also to our estate governors. They try to govern us. They try to mobilize us so that we bring our resources together for the service of God. But many a time, instead of supporting them, we disappoint them. The Bible records that hunger drove Moses with instead of eating it once I was instructed, he did it twice. How many a times have we made our leaders fall? Hallelujah, believers. How many a times have we made our estate governor shed tears? How many a times have we made our elders regret? How many times have we made our pastors? Give me pastor regret from serving you. You are and number you. three were the external threats. Number three, they are they are enemies. Were they are passing threats every day? The Israelites, we are coming for you. This time around, you are not going to make it. We are coming for you. Those were the threats. The second point were the Amalites. You know the Bible has it. And history also confirmed the same. History also confirmed the same. But the first group to attack Israelites were the Amalites. These were the first group to attack them and test their God whether that God is real whether he exists whether he is so powerful as they claim so or is just a mere God like their God you know this team are also present in the church the Amalites they test spiritual leaders Every now and again, Saka -san. you visit social media, my brothers. Social media. You get surprised. Church members are complaining everywhere. Your crystal ever complain. Denominations at war with spiritual leaders. Your crystal God. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, these are signs of the time. We live in the end time. When our lives are prepared for war. And they don't have to fight with any other body. But they are target as spiritual leaders. You sit down as a member as a member only to strategize on how to make your elder fail. You sit down with your team only to strategize the downfall of your spiritual leader you are represented by the Hamalites they were the first group to attack the holy people of God you belong to this group Ask your neighbor, neighbor, your heart. Uh, ask your neighbor, your heart's clean. The Amalites, the Amalekites. Their main agenda, agenda is to fight men and women of God. To make sure that they are brought down. But make sure that they have fell completely. To make sure that no project is taking place in the church of God. Every time you bring a project, the Amalites will say, No, we are overburdened. The economy is tough on our side. We don't know how to go about it. But let me tell you, there is God in heaven. And he promised to be with Israel. 
my fellow leaders who are present in the congregation. I want to assure you. Let us surrender everything to God. And he will see us through. Amidst challenges. Amidst difficulties. All ups and downs we encounter in life. Our God is there for us. It shall come to pass. Bwana sifiwe. In God we are more than conquerors. In Him, we live. In Him, everything works well. I remember Paul. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. And the servants of God say, and you think I sign on all things work well for those who believe in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. If you are a true believer, if you fully trust in God, then I tell you, run away. I don't you see sign. Run away from this Amalite spirit. Of fighting God's people. You know, some of you are present here. I just want to see whether this thing is going to take place. Some of you are very bitter. When people talk about appreciating their pastors, they think about uh, those who are in hospital and those who are in prison and street children. Every time we talk about appreciating our pastors, they say, but, but what about this? What if we do it this way? Why don't we mobilize everything? Put them at a several pool. Then go visit those who are in the hospital. You remember what Jesus told Judas? That day, when men used the alabaster oil to prepare Christ's body for burial. You know Judas also complained. He said, No, but why don't we convert this into money? Then go see street children. But Jesus told him, Judas, know this. Those people are there, will be there. Will be. But this lady is preparing my body for battle. When we talk about appreciating our pastor, let me tell you, it is godly. You should be left out. Make sure. You are counted it. The Amalites Amalakai. who are against people of God. Every time people could talk good about servants of God, they were busy talking on the other side of the uh, people of God. And number three was Moses' leadership. Moses, tell Moses. You see, Moses, Moses was appointed by God to lead Israelites from Egypt to the promised land. If you want to know a very tough quarter, a so stressful quarter in the Adventist circle to a local church pastor, especially in the pastor Mark Kanisa, is this last quarter. And quarter Makoro and Tin, quarter of elections, quarter meeting the yellow, quarter where men and women of God. Seems to strategize on who should sit where, when and how is this quarter. How I pray that the Spirit of God may help us prioritize our rights. 
Moses was appointed by God. Musa Those who are in leadership are appointed by God to be co-workers. Pastors who are mixers. Those who are there to represent God. They are appointed and brought by that same God. To give services to his people. And let me tell you, I don't you when Pastor King I Pastor uh, will finish his assignment here. So, when he finishes his assignment here, God will direct him to another station. But how I pray, before then, That the Amalites were defeated. If you want your pastors to succeed, pray for him. Hallelujah. Pray for him. Always be there for him. Aaron and Hur were there for Moses. Their issue was not who lives. But they want God to succeed. That should be our prayers, members of Rome and District. That every time we see our pastor succeed. I also came across this. The significance of raising hands. The act of raising hands is often associated with prayer and supplication in the Hebrew Bible. In this context, it signifies reliance on God for victory. The necessity of support from Arun and Hur and has caused the communal aspect of leadership and the importance of solidarity in faith. There is another pregnant point that each and every believer ought to underscore because we come to together when we are together we live as one family we stay together we share our challenges we pray one to the other then God will help us to overcome all the challenges that we encounter under the sun but this secret was well known to Arun and Hur. Arun gi Hur no fuenye. They knew it very well. They knew Siri ni mabel. They said if we leave Moses alone, then you want to ni kwa mwe Musa kende. He is not going to make it. O kodi kalo ageta ma inti. And all of us are going to perish. So waduto wadila. Not only Moses. O Musa kende. All of us waduto. For us to be safe, for no mabel kamu. Let us support his hands. Wadi mudo tingu ete malo. As so that all of us. Mudo waduto. Conquer this war. And finally, brothers and sisters on the scene, we see God assurance. The Lord commands Moses to write down the account of battle. 
Joshua that he will utterly blot out the memory of Amalek. This reflect God's ongoing commitment to his people and foreshadows future conflict in their conquest of Kana. People of God Yes, nothing aside. Allow me to inform you where you see, man, that God is there for us. He fights on our behalf. The moment we surrender our lives fully to Him, the moment we do so, then I tell you, we are more than conquerors. We're gonna win. Like Moses did through the help of Arun and Hur. Are you ready to support the hands of your people? Are you willing to do so? Or your prayers can can he fail? God, why don't you leave this gentleman free? Are you there for your pastor? You know when we talk about appreciating your pastor, people only think about material things. But let me tell you, it is not all about material things. Do you take time to pray for the man of God? Do you pray for his family? Do you pray for his ministry? Because when he fell, not only him, but the church of God. As a pastor, when I fell, he is not me, but the seventh day Adventist church. So every time we talk about appreciation, people think about material things, which of course is right. We must support him. But there are other supports that we need. Like praying pray for a pastor. How many times? Do we visit and pray with pastors? Hallelujah. How many times? Because the phone calls and texts we receive as pastors is that, Pastor, I need you on such a such a date and such a such a time. Pastor, come pray with my family. Pastor, we were challenged at our work state place. We need your prayers. Pastor, come. Pastor, come. Pastor, come. How many times do we go to pray with the family of our pastors. pastor. You think pastors are angels? We are fellow human beings. Pastors in only elevated by God's grace. To represent him. We need your prayers. We need your support. We need you around our families. So that we all go in peace. Hallelujah. The spirit of Amalites. That is the pure spirit we pray that God take away from us. So that we all stand for our pastors and support them for the glory and honor of God. On the theological insights, we are still in the book of Numbers, Exodus rather, our key text, theological insights, we discover the divine sovereignty and providence of God. We discover the sovereignty and the providence of God. He provided water to quit their past. He provided manna to take care of their tummy. 
good king. That same God. Is the God we serve. And let me tell you a believer. That God is there for us. Don't let us not worry. We should not panic. We should not be scared. Of anything. Because our Lord is there. And he cares. He provides more than we request. Every time we request for food, God accompanied it with good health. Every time we request for job, God accompanied it with good health. He provides more than we request. And I know some of us might be doubting this because of their current situation. They're battling with God over this. Again and again battling with God over this. Again and again to an extent that they doubt whether God is there for them or not. I want to tell you today that God is there. He provides. He takes good care of us. Let us do that which is right in his eyes. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, are you here for our pastor? As some of you are funny, they are not talking. And I see them wandering. Because they know no, they did come for their pastor. They only came for prayers. Because today is a normal Sabbath. And the district had organized it that you converge to one place. Well, that is why they've come. But I want you now to be there for your pastor. Be Aaron. Be Aaron. Be Ur. Let us support his hands for the sake of the ministry. Let us pray for our pastor. For the sake of the ministry. You might hate your pastor. With passion. I know I remember as I know. But for the sake of the ministry. Please let us be out. To support the servant of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why we've gathered here today. So that we support him. We support him. Would you be happy seeing your pastor begging? Hallelujah. How many will be happy? Seeing their pastor begging from door to door. Or maybe, maybe carrying his Bible and praying with people there. Business people around there. Mama Moga, those who sell fish. Sasa Mama Pasta and Pasta, they are visiting those people. In this district, the pastor of the when they pray for a fish seller, if he, she doesn't have cash, then they suggest to her. Why don't you give one fish to the servant of God so that we go and eat? Will you associate yourself with such a pastor? We come together today. We come together today to show solidarity to the servant of God. And that is why we are here. Members of God. I see we are we are already in the time of appreciation. As as part of the program. As part of the program. So I don't want to go beyond there. But just have the following. I've jumped several things. Uh, for the interest of time. And our whole point is home. And so get this. Uh, from the three verses we've just read. I've discovered the following. Teamwork in ministry. Get this, and if you have a pen and a paper, just jot it down. 
Today we don't preach to get souls for baptism. But we preach and prepare ourselves to appreciate our pastors. So I've discovered the following. Team work in ministry. Just as Moses needed support to live effectively. Pastors. Pastors benefit from the encouragement and involvement of their congregation. The same way Moses enjoyed it. Kaka Musa no 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 tio. The very way. E kaka sejego. We need it from you people. What do our mundo um bende um mag no ya dolo? If you are a position to do so. Kai a position ni ya lotimo kamano. Make sure you do it all heartedly. Ti megi chuni puto. Say my man. Do it with all your heart. As though you are doing it. For God. Not man. Like I told you before. Pastor represent God here on earth. Pastor and Point number two. Number two. Acknowledgement of challenges. Even though we serve God, even though we serve Him, the same way Moses was challenged, pastors face challenges, pastors are burdened in their ministry. The same way. They said, Kamana Kaka, Moses experiencing Musa no Mogode. That is the way we do a Kaka one bend the one in our pastoral ministry. Many a times we are overburdened. Presenting your requests. Kawakao give me to Aro Kakaja Christo to God. What keto ne nyasai? Every time you see a pastor, say the man get in ano pastor. He is overburdened. What thing was he go mapere? Let me tell you, we members of wrong. We is in the wrong. Every time you see pastor dia, say me ne ano pastor dia. You know the wrong district. Je ni ne district marongo. He is on his head. He is pleading on your behalf. Every time we find time to talk to God, we are in a sign. He is burdened. With your own burdens. The same way Moses experienced challenges. That is how pastors do. They are challenging their pastoral ministry. Therefore, appreciating their hard work, appreciating their hard work, appreciating their hard work, and sacrifice, can foster a sense of community and shared purpose. Every time we come together to appreciate our pastor, it brings a sense of communion. It makes pastor also understand that I serve members who care. Members who are out to take care of me. Members who are out to pray for my family. Members who are out to pray for my ministry. Members who are out to pray for my success in all my endeavors. I tell you, if we do so, then God will be happy with all of us. An old Mzee of this church, not, not a member of Rongo West, but an old Mzee. He's a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Once told me that pastor, me have learned one thing. And every time you see me And every time you see me walking with pastors around, he's 
out of that lesson I learned, I learned to support men and women of God. Because they come and go. I don't apply for their coming. I never have powers to send them away. So my only responsibility is to make sure that when they come in, I support them. When time for them to leave comes, I give them set off. Because that is what is expected of me. I want to advise you the same. And make sure you don't have issues with men and women of God. Just support them. Be a loyalist. So long as it doesn't take you away from the word of God. He's a loyalist. Support them. You talk about an evangelistic campaign. Be the first person to uh, support. We talk about prison visitation like I saw it. We do it last time. Be forefront. To support it. Because everything you do here, we don't do them for pastors. But we do them for God. Hallelujah. And God promised that if we, mind, if we mind his business, in singular, if we mind his business, He'll mind our businesses. His is in singular. Ours is in plural. We benefit from serving God. Good health. And from whatever link we have, God can help us develop. Because He is number one in our life. And point number three. That I discovered celebration of victories. Be more maloch kelo. More maloch kelo. The Israelites victory. Large major Israel was a communal effort. It was not only for Moses. No, get my Musa. Neither for Aaron nor Aaron. Aaron got Aaron. But it was for the Israelites. As a community, they all celebrated. Neki duto, neki go. Ero kamano ne large no. We support our pastor. What what you want to do? We all celebrate the victory. Mondo wate wago ero kamano ne ne lo. Let me tell you. If our pastor is happy with his family there together, the whole district will be happy. In one way or the other, let me tell you, if he is happy, all of us will be happy. So the victory was not only to the leadership. But it was for the whole Israel. And finally, the fourth one, uh, ongoing support. Just as Aaron and Hur did just assist once, ongoing support for pastors through prayer. and appreciation can help them remain strong in their calling. I know some of you are asking. They were asking the coordinators. But we had supported him. Why again this time around? You mean pastor is not so, uh, so satisfied? No, 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 We are done it. No, I Why again this time around? The Bible records. It should be an ongoing thing. No, we do not make you see, Timore. 
Every time, it should be our culture. Of appreciating them. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray for those who are murmuring. Why again? Why again this time? The Bible has it. Very clear. That it should be an ongoing thing. Do it. Do it. Keep on doing it. Do it. Do it. Don't complain. Can complain? Stop murmuring. Do it. Then God will also allow it to be done for your sons and daughters and for yourselves. May God bless all of us. Amen. May He keep us safe. And may God help Rongo District to shine. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless us in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes. So, Karibu, 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 Karibu. So that you take us to the next Eve and pray. Ruodua kidonya sacho majahera. Wago ero kamano ne jogi ma jo Christo Marungu District. Unebe dogi paro dogi bi kanyakla. The Kanisa Marongo West Springs to appreciate their pastor. Jehovah Nyesai, Rokamano Kumtangonwa Picha, Mar Moses, Arun and Hu, Gibigao Manegetimo, Nyaka Gilocho. One more in that same spirit, Obed Gijorongo District. Kagi support Pastor Kennedy Adiam and his family Mondo teach me Mikete Luete on the Bell and Mabel. In the Walami Nyasai Depar, a team of elders, Kao Telegi Pastor's associates, Igwethegi, Dogimbegi Uni, you are all appreciation. Mondo Gian enjoy, teach, Matek. Magetimo kagi coordinate this event. Wala minya sai ni kawa donje miga manchielo. Romari o Lord kendo konywa. Remain our God always. Keep us safe under your wings. And let your strength, Lord, be manifested in us. Each and every time, help us to remain your people. And each and every time, let us all enjoy your presence in our lives. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Oh, no.